in one time. <laughs> Welcome to On Me TV. I'm your host, On Me Kong, aka Via Lover. I have a special guest today, uh, Matt T or Matt T Lake from <laughs> the uh, Lake. Matty yeah. Lake Thank from uh, the uh, Beer Block. What is it called? The Video Beer Block. Wine and Beer West Park. Wine or, and Beer Wine. Our and, Wine and Beer West Park Beer Blog. Yes. There you go. The beer okay. Theater. Too many beer today, you can I tell. Know. Yeah, so. It's late at night. We had some got it, yeah. Got some we more did. beer to taste. More beer to taste. It's a yep. Tuesday. What else would you want? Uh, beer. Beer. <laughs> well, uh, let's see what you got today. We got a beer from Terrapin Brewery from Athens, Georgia. It, this is their side project. Uh, I think this is brew number 13 from them, from their side project. I think so. Uh, it's, called, it's a strong uh, Russian Imperial Stout. And uh, what's it called again? Let's see. Big Daddy. Big Daddy Vladis. Vladis. Yep. <laughs> Big Daddy Vladis. There it is. They always have the craziest point, names. Yeah, 10.25 percent. Whoo! This is gonna be big. All right. Let's see if the big oh boy, beer this matches is thick and the big silky. name. Yeah, this is thick and silky. Looks oh good. Get some props to the broken glass on the way out there mm -hmm. too. Nat, are you a big stout fan, Nat? I'm. I'm not as familiar with the beer. Ah, stout. okay. Not as familiar. Stout beer. Yeah. I'm. I'm still getting acclimated to the yeah? stout world. Yeah. Okay. All right. Let's. Uh, nice thick dock. Yeah. Oil. <laughs> it's got a good head. Yeah. Really thick black. It's got some nice. Roasted malts, a little bit yeah. of a meaty note to it. Lovely aroma, though. Yeah. We'll mm, see. Good roasted malt, coffee, Ten sweet two is chocolate. Pretty big. We'll yeah. see if it's boozy. What do you think? Roasted malt, coffee. Yeah. Big black chocolate. All right. So on a show, I always say before I taste it, keep the tongue a little treat. <sighs> So Matt, <laughs> keep the tongue a little treat. I'm jumping the gun <laughs> here, cheers. Now, so uh, what do you do with your uh, beer block? Well, what we do is we have a little program with the shop called Beer yeah. Theater, and it's not unlike this, but uh, what we do is we give our customers a chance to taste beer with the guys that make what they love. Hmm. We video conference in brewers from their brewery to our shop uh, via the internet, projected on a large screen TV. Then we'll bring out five, six beers uh, of that brewery, and mm. we spend an hour with the brewer tasting through the beers and, oh, wow. and talking to them, do a little Q&A, get their perspective on what happens during the brew pot process, mm -hmm. find out how they got started with the brewery, things like that. And, uh, and then capture it and put it up on the internet for posterity's sake oh, wow. and, you know, for yeah. the people to enjoy. Now, I went to a couple of your video conference with yes. the brewmaster. Yes. And you, yeah, the brewmaster sitting right up to the camp, right? Yeah. Just talk straight. With, it would be uh, like crowd. as if this right here, our little poster was a screen and his face was right up there and he was talking to us. Wow. Exactly. That's awesome. Yeah, well, That's you know. Up front. Yeah. We, uh, we just like to be in touch with those guys yeah. and, and find out what they think, mm -hmm. you know. A lot of times you see those guys at a bar, you see yeah. them in, up in personal mm. meetings and you get like 30 second flyby, hey man, I love your beer, blah, 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 and then that's it. That's awesome. This gives everybody a chance to actually go up there, home brewers can go up and say, hey, you know, I've got this problem with my mash, what do, you know, what do you think? Not that everybody does that, but we wish more people would come down and do it because they're there. It's great. They're all home brewers at one point too, so. That's awesome. Cheers to Matty for his love for beer. Thanks, Anne. Yep. Cheers to you. Mmm. Wow. What do you think about this taste? Mm. It's correct, first of all. That's good. Mm -hmm. I get a nice little meaty point right in the first yep. Uh, front. Yep, yep. Very meaty. And then you got uh, roasted malts kind of take over the yep. mid palate. Yep. Dries out a lot mm -hmm. of espresso notes in the back yep. end. Yep. It's fun. I mean, you know. I don't think it's too hot for ten percent. Like, I feel like it's like a little bit smoky on the end. Just not like real smoky. Maybe like a little mm. charcoaly, flinty. Mm. But that's what you want out of a big Russian stout. Yeah. So, uh, nice and dry. I mean, it's very pretty drinkable. silky mouthfeel. Yeah, you know, like just melt right on your tongue. Yeah. yeah, and definitely long finish. I'm still yeah. tasting it. Yeah, still tasting. Uh, very very well balanced. 
Uh, yeah. Good enough sweet sweetness. Yeah. Nice roasted malt. I think this one would make the cut and, for me. Yeah, and silky espresso coffee. That's what it tastes like. Yeah. <laughs> silky espresso coffee. You like silky yes. beer, huh? I like silky beer. You know, so and silky is balanced, you know. It just, you know, sometimes, you know, Russian Imperial status should just be like pounding, yeah. pounding you in the yeah. face. Yeah. Silky well, that, says. All right. Yeah. I like what the on is pushing mm. tonight. Mmm. Do you think this beer can age? No. No. I think I would drink this in the year the the year okay. that it's done. I mean it tastes to me like everything is right together mm -hmm. and balanced right yeah. now. So yep. Yep. I feel like yep. if usually if there's a beer that I want to age when it's young, it's rare that I get a beer that tastes real good mm -hmm. right away and that I can't imagine it'll turn into something else. Like yeah. I don't feel like there's heavy hops in this that it's would not, that no. would, you know, die down and kind of it's, back out. I think uh, I just think it's in good balance right now. Yeah. It's so. uh, probably getting more sweetness, you know, added. Yeah, a little bit. Yeah. yeah, it's just because right now it's got a little sweetness to it. So. Yeah. Yeah. So. Um, Pretty good. I mean, especially from guys that typically do yeah. like. I, I mean, I always equate terrapin with yeah. like milk stouts. They mm -hmm. they just put out the chocolate milk stouts. So. Now, I mean, are you a food guy too? Am I a food guy? Yeah. A little bit. Yeah. I like to eat, but I can't cook. Uh, now, if you would pair, <laughs> now if you would pair this with uh, food, what would it be? What would it be? Yeah. Um, it's a brownie or a brownie. You could <laughs> definitely do it with brownie. You could do this with can lots of dip, things. Can you dip brown in this beer? You could. Uh, I mean, I feel like you could even have this with like steak if you want, like steak and potatoes, rice really? and vegetables. Yeah, why not? Oh wow. But I mean, you could do this with dessert. I mean, it's it's yeah. like. It's not going to push its will on anything. Mm -hmm. I might have it with something sweet like creme brulee, something vanilla yeah, yeah. would mm -hmm. be good. Mm -hmm. um, you know, chocolate mousse, of course, would be fine. Mm -hmm. I mean, now, can you uh, put a uh, scoop of vanilla ice cream in here? Uh, there's, there's not a whole lot that you can't put a scoop of vanilla ice cream in that it won't mm -hmm. make it yeah. better. Mm -hmm. I think ice so. cream beer float. Do you have any ice cream in the back? Ah, we do. <laughs> <laughs> Put it to the test. So cheers, Matt. Thanks cheers. for coming by to the show. Uh, now, if you rate this beer, yeah, one to a hundred. One to a hundred. What would it be? Yes. Without having to explain my beer rating philosophy, I'd probably give it like um, an eighty-nine. Eighty-nine? Yes. There it is. Eighty-nine by the great beer block, Maddie Lake. <laughs> Thanks for cheers, coming on. by, Thanks. and remember. Beer is the answer. There it is. Always. Peace out. <laughs> Cheers. Oh, man, that's awesome. Good.